Hey guys, today I am going to be going over my favorite Korean lip tints because it's been requested a few times by you guys. So thank you for requesting that. I am super excited to share this because I love lip products and I've tried quite a few lip tints. And excuse my nasally voice, I'm still getting over a cold, so I hope you guys don't mind. Let me know what your favorites are, and I will share mine because that's what we do here. And yeah, let's just get the ball rolling. I'll leave all the information and all the stuff that I mentioned down in the description box. The first product that I'm going to talk about is the Etude House Dear Darling Water Tint. This is also probably the cheapest one amongst the ones that I'm going to show you, and it's also one of my all-time favorites because... One, it's not drying. Two, it leaves a beautiful, nice, natural... I just ate an orange popsicle, but I don't want to look like I just drank two gallons of orange soda type of thing. Oh, this is in the color um, 03, by the way, and it's the orange one. They have two other shades available, but it's really light. It's very watery, like it suggests, and it also lasts a really long time and just leaves a really nice, natural tint. So if you're looking for something that's super, super natural, very affordable, and kind of like an intro into Korean lip tints, I would highly, highly recommend this particular water tint. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Peripera Peri's Ink Velvet Lip Tints. These are great if you're looking for something that's kind of like a liquid lipstick, and these are very moussey and velvety in texture and glide on and apply very, very easily, and they leave a really nice stain at the end of your wear time so not only does it leave like a full blast color or you can also tone it down if you want and create a tint or whatever but it also leaves like a really like deep magenta tint at the end of its lifespan so you can also reapply it if you want the full color but it just lasts throughout drinking throughout eating just whatever you do in your life this will still be there and it's just so cute the packaging is adorable the con for this one is that it's very hard to remove but the velvety smooth texture is just so pleasant. It dries down to a velvet matte finish. It's not drying on me, but I do find myself that I need to like apply chapstick throughout the day because, I mean, I have to do that for anything though. Um, it's really, really nice. They have a very wide range of colors for this particular um, velvet line, but they also have different types of ink tints. So there's like a glossy one, there's like a normal one that has like more vibrant colors. So I really like that. Peri Peri does a really good job at the color selection. And this one's just really, really beautiful, long-wearing. Oh, by the way, this is the number six, and it's my favorite shade out of the two that I own. Next is probably my all-time favorite out of all the tints. It might not be the most long-lasting, but in terms of formulation and color, this one is my absolute favorite. This is the Mamond Highlight Lip Tint in number nine, number memory, and it is the most beautiful brick reddish orangey red it is so so pretty and a lot of korean lip tints come in those same like generic types of colors like a hot pink an orange and a red but this one is so beautiful and this one also has a moussey like texture and it applies very smoothly and evenly on the lips it does wear off when you're drinking or eating stuff but i just love it so much that i don't even care and overall it does last a pretty decent amount of time and it's just beautiful I just, I just love this one. I have another color, but this one is my all-time favorite because of the shade. It's perfect for all seasons. It will complement all skin tones. And yeah, I just, I just love it so much. My last lip tint that I want to talk to you guys about is the Misha Lasting Painting Tint. And this is in Baby Fox. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, like, pinky, corally orange shade. And this is really nice because it lasts a really long time and it has more of a glossy finish. Whereas these ones are, um, actually, the Momond one actually has kind of like a glossy-ish finish as well. But this one is also like a natural gloss. It also lasts a decent amount of time, so I love this. And the color is absolutely beautiful. If you look like, uh, you know, you kind of feel like a zombie and you don't want to go for a red, this, this type of shade is really, really, really pretty. And I really like it for the formulation. It's moisturizing, it's not drying at all. None of these tints by the way are drying on my lips personally and I have really dry lips so that's a very key factor in what I look for in lip tints. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know what your favorite lip tints are whether it be you know like western brands or asian brands. I would love to know and check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to creep on me so I can creep on you my social links are down in the description box and I'll talk to you guys later. I hope my nasally voice wasn't too horrible. <laughs> Bye!